Good morning. Um, my name is uh, Tom Schijmaas. I'm one of the partners of uh, Excel Knowledge, as a subsidiary of, uh, of RDXL. And I'm uh, going to talk to you about Archimedes, a, a new platform we released a few weeks ago. And uh, it's also a handout on your or a note. Oh, sorry, it's a kind of handout on your uh, on your table before you. Um, first, I would make a very short introduction to actual knowledge, but Renko did also that yesterday, so I will skip that if uh, possible. Uh, then I will introduce to you Archimedes as an architecture publishing platform, and uh, the other half of the talk will be about a, uh, uh, a project I did and which we will uh, deliver on Monday, next Monday, <laughs> uh, which is based on this platform. So, now, very short, I'm from ArchiXL, which, has, which is, uh, in, in essence, an architecture consultancy firm, enterprise architecture consultancy firm. And we also have a label, Extra Knowledge, which is about semantic uh, consulting, about consulting uh, about semantic media, semantic uh, knowledge management, etc. Okay, Archimedes, why Archimedes? Um, first, a short definition about architecture just for the people who, uh, for, for whom it is new. Um, architecture is a, a way in organizing systems or components which are embodied in the system, all kinds of relations between each other and the environment and principles governing its design and evolution, which is in short about enterprise architecture, is about processes, organization, information systems, infrastructure, the whole bunch of things you do when you run a company. And <coughs> Architects often use uh, modeling tools, enterprise modeling tools, uh, enterprise architecture modeling tools, and those models often are locked up in those systems. Uh, it's very hard to communicate about those models. Um, but on the other hand, enterprise architecture is very important for an organization. Um, it's a, a, a key part because the, uh, the, 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 how you call it, the, the strategy is, is often based on something like enterprise architecture. And in the end, it's knowledge for everyone in the company. So to publicize, to publish about and to uh, architectures is key. So that's what we do. And <coughs> on the other hand, which is also very important, is that architects are crazy about architectural models. So there's also a way needed to publish those models instead of only in their own uh, tools. Um, and what is Archimedes? It's a Turkey platform, so you can use it uh, at the moment as, uh, at the moment as, as you uh, download it or uh, get it installed by us. You can use it right away. Uh, what it can do is import all kinds of models from architectural uh, environments, architecture tools. So you can maintain it. You can, because it's a semantic platform, you can also have discussions and co-creation. Uh, you can also export it again to, uh, to other tools. Uh, it's, it's also a, a user-friendly publication. You can navigate through the architecture. You can combine the enterprise architecture with other knowledge like processes, your CMDB or other uh, stuff which stores all kinds of information about your organization. And of course, all the other benefits of SMW. Archimedes is strongly uh, <coughs> combined with Archimate. That's the language we use to express enterprise architecture. It's a standardized uh, language, which is uh, maintained by the Open Group. And it also, since a year or so, has a exchange format, which we use to import and export all the models. And it's called the Archimate Exchange File Format. It's in short, uh, AAF. Um, now what we did is put this on our platform. This picture we use uh, since a few years or so. Also been presented at earlier uh, presentations uh, at the SMWCon. Uh, and this is the, the stack we use for SMW, which is very common to you, I think. And the yellow parts are things we have built upon that to, uh, for our, for our uh, services and consultancy we do. And what we have built for Archimedes is Extra plugins, Smart Core is a plugin for uh, an extension 
to uh, maintain your knowledge models within SMW. We have built Smart Connect and, and Smart Core we uh, released a few years ago. I think we talked about it in Berlin, I think, the year of three or four ago. Smart Connect is what we built uh, two years ago, and I think we presented it last year in, uh, in the case study we have presented then. And we use it all again for uh, the, the connection to other tools uh, with the Archimate exchange language. And upon that, we have built uh, one and two, at, at, at this time, two uh, end user uh, solutions called Archimedes. And there's also a poster about our information security management system, which has the same uh, build up as like, uh, like Archimedes. Now, if you zoom in on Archimedes, it's uh, what well, I just said, it uses Smart Connect for Archimate. And in that way, we, have, uh, we are able to, and these are three tools, but there are a number of tools about, I think, about six or seven, which uses the Archimate language and uses the Archimate exchange file format to uh, export the data to other environments, to each other, but also to Archimedes is one of the inter and, uh, architecture tools uh, there are right now. And we use the SmartNet pipeline, which is our uh, extension to transform data into one format to another, into our, our own object model we use on SMW. Now, if we go into more detail, it does this thing. It's the data export gives us an XML file with all kinds of model and view data. This, it's not only metadata about the architecture, but also the models itself, the, the views, the pictures. We have to build with those uh, specifications to get it with the, with the XML. We've got a special page in our uh, platform to import these files. And the pipeline architecture we use uh, enables us to transform it to our own structure and also do all kinds of custom tailored things like filtering things out or uh, uh, adding some other information so we can, because of the pipeline architecture, we can do things on the, on the, on the import side but also on the export side. So that's, the basis is, uh, is our own uh, stand-up uh, uh, software but we can extend it for our customers if you like. Okay, how does it look like? This is the, the first icon we used. It's, uh, it did not survive uh, uh, the marketing uh, campaign, but let's see. Um, we got a, oh, one moment. <coughs> this is a public website. You can go to it if you like. It's, uh, the URL is in the, will be in the slide pack, which I, which I will upload uh, later on. Uh, this is also a demo site for Archimedes. It's, the first page is in English, the rest is still a bit in Dutch, but if you were working on it to get it, uh, the whole uh, site in the, in, into English. Um, let's see. I'll put all my glasses, otherwise I can't see it. So what we did uh, with this, this is the, 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 the website with, which contains already a, a number of uh, architecture models, and what we've used is are two models which are uh, provided by the Open Group as test material. It's called Archisurance, it's an enterprise architect of an insurance company, and Archimetals, which is more a kind of a production uh, uh, organization. Uh, but this one is in English, so I'll take this one. And here we see the overview, the standard overview you get when you uh, work with Archimedes. It's a live demo, it's always risky, so probably go. Uh, Okay, here it is. Uh, and here we have the overview of all, you can't read it probably from this uh, distance, but I will zoom in. Not readable now, I think, yeah. Okay. Uh, and here you see all the elements, all the relations, all the views which are present in this enterprise architecture. And I don't know if you know anything about enterprise architecture, but that's dividing the layers, the, the business layer, the information application layer, and infrastructure layer. And within, you have all kinds of elements like business roles, business actors, business processes, uh, application components, application functions, services, etc. Uh, and that's what you see. This is a whole, whole kind of drill down into the, the elements of the enterprise architecture. And on the right side, you see all kinds of models uh, that have been used 
to uh, to view the third factor. Let's see here. Um, let's take one example. For example, the application architecture. Let's make it somewhat smaller. Uh, I will show to you uh, later on a tool which also contains these models. So. But what it does, in, in essence, is import all the models, all the specifications for the view. And what we do in this website is generate a view with our own uh, graphic writers. We have the SVG writer or a PNG writer, if you like. Depends on what kind of browser you use. But this one is an SVG. But this one you can also zoom in into more detail because architects tend to make very large views, very large pictures. Um, and you can navigate through it. So if you go to this one of these elements, you get an element view with all its, uh, it contains, uh, it is present in these views, it has relations to all these other elements, and we also have a context diagram of the element itself. And it's all done dynamically, so uh, it's not imported as a picture, it's just all generated dynamically as you navigate through the, through the wiki. Okay. Um, here's another example of a picture. Uh, this is how it's imported, and again, you can click on anything. You can even click on the relationships if you like. So you can click on this one. Oh, it's very hard to point to the right. Uh, should have done this. Uh, no. Believe me, you can click on the relationship if you like. You just have to point. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, this is relationship. And also has its own context diagram. It also always consists mostly of, of uh, a force and, and a target, of course. Okay, we uh, use this for uh, several customers. One example is the uh, University of Saxion. It's, uh, this is a Archimedes in their own look and feel, in their own as uh, Media Wiki. And we've imported uh, all the elements into this wiki and in that way, present their views and give them the ability to view, uh, take a view, uh, to take a look and navigate through the through the uh, architecture model, but also to uh, now what SMW does standard. Uh, you can you have talk pages, you can give reactions, you can edit and uh, etc. Put your own knowledge around these models. Okay, back to the slide pack. So this is, uh, in essence, what Archimedes is. Are there any questions about that? Okay. I'll go to the following. Um, that's interesting. Okay. <coughs> we also use this in, uh, as an organization, which I also work myself for uh, most of my time. Um, it's the, the Association of Dutch Municipalities, and that's uh, an association which, with, where all the municipalities of Holland are, uh, are together and form a, uh, <coughs> how do you call it? Uh, I think the English word, I can't, no, 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 no. It's the association of all the municipalities and they have their, uh, to, the, to defend their own common interests against the government, etc. Um, and they also have a architecture model which they use. It's called the Gemma. It's Dutch for uh, it's the Gemeente Model Architecture. But if you translate it, it becomes like something like a reference enterprise architecture for Dutch municipalities. Uh, it's used by all the municipalities and maintained in a tool. Uh, I don't know, you probably don't know those tools, but these are tools in which you can main enterprise architecture. We publish it on Gemma Online, which is a SMW environment, which we uh, have made there for, for them since, uh, I think, a five or six years, I think. And um, it's a platform in which we already publish the, the architecture, but not with Archimedes, but <coughs> by importing and using Smart Connect. But we migrate now to Archimedes because we also have another product which uh, this association uh, facilitates, and that's the Gemma Software Catalog. 
and that's an instrument for municipalities in order to get more grip on their uh, application landscapes. What, what does it do? Um, it shows you what kind of application sy systems are there in the field. So suppliers uh, deliver all their knowledge about their own systems into the software catalog. And municipalities, they administrate what kind of applications they really use. And all is connected to the reference architecture, because in the reference architecture we say what kind of systems there are, document management systems, uh, database management systems, or web content management systems, or all kinds of process systems. Uh, and we also say what kind of standards they have to use, and we also tell them what kind of functionality it must contain. We also uh, registrate what kind of uh, information security uh, properties it, it needs to fulfill, etc. And that's kind of a reference model all the uh, municipalities use to, um, uh, to choose their suppliers. Um, and what we have done is, um, and oh yeah, one remark on before, uh, beforehand is that these two tools already existed. So the online wiki we had and the software catalog were two systems working separate from each other from one tool, but they were not really uh, updated in the same manner. There was some difference between those two environments and it was a bit confusing for the municipalities to take a, to, to look at, because in one environment it says something about the reference component which we have described, which was uh, maybe two months old and in the, in the wiki we already had a new version of it. So it wasn't always up to date. So we had a new strategy to, to bring that uh, to a better level, and <coughs> as you can see, we still use Enterprise Architecture tool. We import it in the wiki, the Gemma Online, uh, with the, 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 the file format, the standard file format, AEF, in which we publish the, uh, the model, and we also use to co-create to get new versions. At the moment, we are working on all kinds of domain models for the, for the social domain, and for the environmental domain, and for the security domain. So we develop all those architectures for municipalities, and the software catalog is, uh, has a, a subset of those of that reference model uh, in its environment. It's a Drupal environment, and uh, so all the standards are. Uh, that's the line on top of it. So we have a software catalog asks for all kinds of elements which are present in the in the, metal, in the reference model, uh, like. Uh, reference components, standards, all kinds of requirements for security, etc. There it, uh, and uh, suppliers fill in there uh, what they have available on for software, software packages, which, uh, and they also uh, tell that it is uh, what kind of system it is, so they uh, deliver all kinds of uh, data which says that my package is a document management system and it fulfills and it also su supports that and that standard and that functionality and that uh, security uh, requirement. And municipalities, they also registrate what they use as a software package for their own processes. And <coughs> this system is an, uh, quite a success because all the municipalities are already put in their uh, the software packages and what we and it also is that for viewing the, and I'll give you an example uh, right away, of the, of the models we have made in the reference model, the packages they have entered, they have administrated in, are now also plotted on the models we have used as a kind of uh, reference model. Um, there was also existing functionality, but now we have made it in this way that what they see in online is exactly the same as you see in the software catalog, so it's more, uh, more kind of standardized. And a new feature is that if you have all the reference models of Gemma already in that on Gemma online and also use it to plot your own software package on it, it would be very nice to download that architecture for yourself so that you can uh, make your own architecture models in your own tool. So what we do also is, and that's why we have built this API, which is an API extension of the SMW API, which we have uh, made some dedicated functions for to 
first only not to uh, deliver all kinds of elements from the model and not also to generate views from, from that models combined with the uh, information in the software catalog, but also to download all the content of the online, at least as it concerns the reference model, and the knowledge about software packages they registered the themselves. So that on the right side you can download it and make your own, fill your own tool with uh, all that knowledge. So that will be ready on Monday as we speak. I hope so. Uh, okay, I'll show you some sl uh, how it looks like in. Okay. So this is. Uh, oh, again. <laughs> I have to put this off. Then go to this side. So this is Schema Online. This is where uh, now there are two models present. The one is uh, about the, 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 the knowledge model of the, the wiki itself, and the model which is used for the software catalog. <coughs> I'll show you first. This is also a model which we maintain in, so in, in an enterprise architecture tool, and this is, in a way, the model which we use to. I, w I won't explain it. If you like, you can come to me and I'll explain it to you. This is a model we use for uh, for storing the, the reference components and make a connection to the to the software packages in the software catalog. So that's the model for uh, the API we have used. Um, but this is the model we're talking about. Here you can see. Uh, and this is the the model. If you go to a municipality in Holland and you go to the IT uh, department, you'll see this picture. It hangs around the wall, it fills the whole wall, and it's, uh, and, and it's filled with all the packages they use themselves. But this is the, the original <coughs> view we use for that. So this is an overview, you can't read it, but it's not important. It's an overview of all the reference components. There are four general reference components for, for municipalities. Yeah? What I told you about the document system, which measurement systems, but Let's see, uh, I can zoom in if you like. Uh, products, catalog, uh, web content management system, knowledge management systems, uh, document management systems, uh, but also things like, uh, you know, you recognize that one, but all kinds of process systems about, uh, if, for example, for uh, to, to view geo, locations etc. Now this is the, the source and if you go to the software catalog it's in Dutch but and this is the screen you get when you are uh, a municipality and to choose from all kinds of if you uh, if you log in you can go to your own environment within that and this is a the Dutch people among us will maybe recognize it but this is a fake municipality because on those views there are also all kinds of information which not, should not be known to everyone because it can also be a, a security uh, risk if you present it to everyone. Uh, but let's say, this one has uh, two functionalities we've made use of, uh, of Archimedes. The first one is show the map. So the mapping between software packages and the reference components. It takes about 10 seconds. Normally. So here you see, I'll zoom in. Oh, it doesn't work that way. I use this one. Here you see, for email application, you use Microsoft Outlook, and the PR means it's in production. For the Office Suite, you use LibreOffice, and this also is in production. Now, that's, in that way, you can quickly get an overview of all, of all the software packages you use and it's very much used in all kinds of collaborations because municipalities in Holland collaborate a lot. They, they, uh, they merge and they in all kinds of ways. Municipalities merge but also the IT department merge and not uh, at the same time. So it's, 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 it's a, an instrument to use a lot to decide for what kind of landscape do you have, what kind of landscape do you have and then discuss about what we should maintain or not. Now that is one uh, functionality, and the other one, 
which we are going to deliver on Monday is the export and you have the exported CSV, that's the, what we formally did, or uh, this is something in a specific export, but we, we can also use the better version from one day on of the AEF export. Uh, if you click on that, uh, it takes about 20 seconds or so, but you can get, I can guarantee you, you get an XML file, and if you open it, this is an, an open source architecture tool, then you can have the same model again, but then as a content of your enterprise architecture tool with all the, and this is the same view, only mapped with components. It looks somewhat different because we have that, that's more kind of a presentation, but this is, this is also because of the tool presents us like that, because it is an ex exchange format. We don't, we have a bit of control of how it looks, but not completely. Every architecture tool has its own decisions to present something like this. Um, and then uh, the municipality can make its own uh, views based upon the whole repository you have imported, like this, and make your own analysis, etc. Because this, this tool, for example, has an analyzer in which you can also navigate through the whole enterprise architecture. So. This was the, uh, what I wanted to say. Do you have any questions? Thank you very much. And uh, let's uh, have a Q&A session. Would you say that all of the units in use of municipalities use this FEMA architecture, does that mean they all have their own wiki or it just means they all have software that makes use of uh, the, this defined architecture or something else? Yes, in most cases they have their own software to import their own architecture. They can use Archimedes if they like, of course. But it's not do, I, do any of them use it? Uh, a few. Okay. But it's, it's a new product, so they also, they, uh, there are a few municipalities who use the old version of Archimedes. Well, it was not called Archimedes, but just a wiki. Yeah. <laughs> it was more a kind of a custom-made wiki. Yeah. Okay. Would it be possible to monitor deployments of an architecture, such as uh, whether a uh, server is running or not? Uh, no. Enterprise architecture tools are really design tools. Uh, and molding tools. They are not monitoring tools. You, somehow, sometimes you see a combination of both, in which you uh, have... In fact, we are trying this at one municipality. You have all kinds of monitoring software, deliver that kind of data in combination with the models you, you, you create, and even to generate those models again, because this is a model and not the instance of the actual situation. Uh, and, and you can't model that because it's, every day is different yeah, in theory. So what we'd like to do is generate the, those kind of information and import it in these tools so that you can generate it and maybe with all kinds of status information, yeah. So you can visualize it and make it in, in combination with the enterprise architecture, which is, would, would be very nice because also the business part is also part of the, uh, of the enterprise architecture. So your goals and your, uh, and your vision and all kinds of, of things you can combine with even to the infrastructure level. So we got a, uh, uh, a principle about uh, being a, uh, how you call it, a, a customer friendly uh, organization, but on the other hand, our infrastructure services don't, don't always uh, uh, are present or, uh, or have a fall down or something. So you can make those combinations. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the architecture dream, by the way, which I just mentioned. Now. <laughs> but we're coming close. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Another. Pleasant day.